Today we're going to be looking at how you can use whole bases site investigation planning capabilities combined with sending that planning details to your field users using PLOG tablet. So I have an existing project where I have a bunch of boreholes already. I am going to add these two new boreholes and you'll notice these don't have coordinates at this point. So all we're going to do is we're going to indicate where we want these boreholes to be drilled so our field personnel know where it is. So we've just set the first location for the first borehole. We'll come back, we'll do the same thing for the second borehole. And we'll say we're doing one over here in this parking lot. So now you see we have locations for BH41 and BH42 should appear there momentarily. There we go. So if I reload my data, you'll notice that we now have northing and easting values for those boreholes. So I'm now switching over to the whole base extension for Excel and we have a new report that is a whole base sample planning report that you can now open up. And if we let's zoom over here and make it a little bigger so we can actually read what's on here but essentially what you have to do is you click the generate button first and what that's going to do is pull your data out of your whole base project. And you can see all those same details with those two new boreholes, oops, a little too far there, two new boreholes I've just added. And so we're going to go through the process of actually sending this to PLOG tablet. So I will log in and I am going to use my That. So I'm now logged in. I'm going to fill in some details about this sampling plan. So I'm going to call this Scott's new plan and we're going to start it today. And yes, this is a live recording on September 1st. We're going to finish this site investigation today. Any instructions we want to send to our users and that should be fine. So we filled in our sampling plan details, we've got our project information, we've got all our boreholes, and now we are ready to upload the sample plan. So essentially I'm just following these steps. And I'm going to say I'm going to use John Cunningham as the person we're assigning this to. And we've now uploaded that sampling plan. If we also want to create a KML file, that we can give to our field personnel so that they know where to go and what to do. Let's call this um, sampling plan demo. And if you have Google Earth installed, you could, you could view that in Google Earth. So on the tablet, basically all I need to do is download my sampling plan. I'm logged in as the user, John Cunningham. and I should get that new project. So my sampling plan was downloaded. I go to my sampling plans option. So I see all my sampling plans. I choose the test project one. There's Scott's new plan with today's date. I activate that. And what that has now done is preloaded my test project right here with any information that I needed, plus all of the boreholes and the location details, data, anything like that associated with the borehole that you preloaded. So, lat long, elevations, northern and eastern, it depends on what your configuration looks like. So that has all been preloaded for the user. Now, if the user wants to also use their tablet to navigate to those locations, if I go into that Dropbox folder and I go here, and there's that sampling plan demo file that I just created a few minutes ago, when I open that up, it's going to, uh, we're going to create a new folder called video. We'll add that project and we will import those locations. So now you see all those boreholes exactly as they were laid out. And you can even use this nice locus map to indicate based on where you're located how far away different distances are. 
and you can see I'm in, sitting in my office and that site is quite a ways away. So I've got to drive about six miles and then once I get to the site I should know I can navigate to each one individually. From there, logging your data in P-Log is just like you do for every other project. It's just getting your plans on where you want things drilled, how deep they're supposed to be, that sort of thing, to your field personnel. P-Log and whole base allow you to only input your data once throughout the entire project lifecycle. Once again, we are here to help you make your data great again.